bands have ever accomplished such greatness in two years as self-made rock powerhouse Chase at Breakfast. Having played almost 50 shows since their formation in July 2016, the band has built a cult following in the home state of Colorado, as well as the greater southwestern United States. Yes, uh, yes, the first time I met Chester Breakfast, it was uh, in Liverpool, early 2017, I believe. Uh, my buddy Mickey rings me up and he's like, you gotta get down to the Nasty Goat. You gotta get down here, you know, like you, there's this American band here and you wouldn't believe it. I didn't have much going on and I didn't really expect too much from this band, to be honest, you know. Um, but I turned my idiot box off, uh, put on some trousers and I made my way down to the Nasty Goat. And when I got there, I, it was right, I couldn't believe it. People were just going absolutely bonkers for this boy band, this foreign boy band from out of town, just people going nuts. And uh, I was chuffed. I was absolutely chuffed. My career as a producer didn't really have much meaning until I met Chess at Breakfast. Uh, producing their first album, The Gut Shawls EP, it changed my life, really. Beyond The Gut Shawls, the new record that we've been working on is really shattering all the sonic expectations I have as a producer. Uh, I really just hope they can market the damn thing. June 17th, 2017. The day we opened for Chess at Breakfast. I mean, I opened for a lot of bands uh, as the English horn player for Subarctic Panther Machine and, you know, saw some great acts, um, Grateful Dead, Hilary Duff, but Chess at Breakfast, I mean, my life was changed. I looked around and I thought, this theater it isn't sold out? I mean, why? Why? And then it came to me. They need a PR team. If I could find them, I'm not going to find them one. If they could find one somehow, they could quite possibly be the first band in history to sell out Red Rocks with a simulcast at Madison Square Garden. That's my hope for this band. You have everything. What else could you possibly need? Well, I'll tell you what. We're gearing up to release this album, and it'll be great. People will hear it. But what we need is to get it out there. And that comes with the PR team, but face it. We have everything, but we're broke. Yeah, we're broke. But it's important that you get a perspective on something real quick. Do you see this? This is how much money we have as a band and personally as well. There's three of us. We must divide this. That is 33.33 cents each. <sighs> And this is how much money we need. There's a reason, there's a reason our debut album will be titled Wealth Care. There's a reason. We could really use $1,500 or any amount would do, please. 